Hi there, this is Brian Tarion from the Disability Digest. And uh, in this video, I'm going to share with you some information that will hopefully clarify the difference between two benefit systems that Social Security offers, which ones you might be entitled to, and in what situations you are entitled to both. So I'm referring to Supplemental Security Income, which is SSI, and Social Security Disability Income, SSDI benefits. Now, even if you're approved for disability benefits, listening to this would help us and likely others help you because we commonly receive questions that are something like, Will earning extra income affect my SSI benefits? And because it's a member here, we typically know if they're approved or not approved, if they're on benefits. And somebody on benefits that communicates like that is not giving us the right information so that we can properly answer the question. So stay tuned. So here's the deal. Um, SSI or Supplemental Security Income is a assistance program that is for those that have not worked but meet the medical qualifications for support through the SSI program. And when one is evaluated for their SSI benefits, unlike SSDI, they're looked at um, their assets and their resources are looked at. So I'm going to put the links that I'll refer to around this page so you can come in and uh, take a look at those. But in general, as an individual, if you have less than $1,500 worth of assets, or as a couple $2,500 worth of assets, then you would qualify or could qualify for SSI income, which is some monthly income and uh, health insurance. So I'll get on to that in a moment. But on this website right here, uh, you'll see at the top here, uh, what is income? So you can have some basic income, like very little income, but any income above uh, these limits that you see on the screen right here are counted towards your amount. So if you're earning a thousand dollars a month then it's likely that you're not going to qualify for this program so but what it what it doesn't uh, factor in for income is things like tax refunds uh, home energy assistance um, any other uh, resources that you're given like grants and food and shelter things like that to sustain yourself so the SSI program is really uh, another version of it is referred to as welfare is for those to just give you some basic support. Now, what is possible uh, for resources is you can get $943 up to that for monthly income or as a couple $1,415. And you also get Medicaid insurance with it, so which is helpful. So. Again, if you're not able to work and meet the medical criteria that we'll get into in a minute and meet the resource criteria, this could be a program for you. Now, there's individuals that could get both this and Social Security Disability, um, and we'll talk about that uh, in a minute. So let's talk about Social Security Disability and, and what that is. The difference is uh, with Social Security Disability, when you work and you pay your taxes, a percentage of that taxable income goes into the Social Security Fund, and it's an insurance program, SSDI, Social Security Disability Income Insurance. And you can collect that insurance if you meet the criteria for Social Security Disability. And it's based on your work history. As a general rule, if you've worked 50% or more of the last 10 years and paid your taxes, then you would be eligible for a check. The average check that we see here is $1,350 a month. So it's significantly more than the SSI um, and it comes with Medicare, which arguably is better than Medicaid. 
So the maximum that you can re receive for uh, Social Security Disability, I believe it's 3800 and something at the time of this uh, recording a month. So it's $3,822 a month is, is what you can receive. So uh, the more you work, the more you pay, uh, the higher your check amount is. Now, if you don't know your check amount then and you're working with somebody here at the Disability Digest, we can get you the directions. Uh, but you can call Social Security. You can log on to your MySSA account and the amount would be shown in there. Uh, those are the two best ways. Of course, you could go to one of their offices, uh, but you can get it quicker by using um, either the online resource or, or calling. So the, the medical qualification uh, for Social Security disability uh, is this. Um, is you have conditions and they're diagnosed, they're being treated by a doctor, they have put limitations on you that prevent you, uh, for most people, uh, that you can't do any work um, in, the, in the U.S. economy. So that same piece is used for evaluating SSI cases. So the medical piece is the same. It's the assets, resources, have you worked, have you not worked, that is the difference between uh, the two. Okay. Next thing I want to talk about is, is those individuals that could or should get both. Um, and we see this when individuals are forced to stop work um, and they have actually worked enough to collect a disability check, but when they stop work, their assets and resources meet the criteria so that they can get SSI. Now you can get an SSI check in place oh, typically uh, much quicker than you can with a social security disability uh, benefit. So we see individuals getting um, some cash. They might not get the full, what is it, $943 a month, <clears throat> but because they have some assets, they might get five or $600 a month to help sustain them while they go through the disability approval process. Then once you get your disability approved and your check goes up to you know, the average $1,350, that typically will put you over the asset limit so you'll no longer qualify for your monthly uh, check. Uh, plus you likely receive back benefits that will also put you over the resource limit. However, it is common that people that are in that category and have a disability check, Social Security disability check of less than 1,300, or pardon me, that have a disability check of less than $1,500 are able to keep their Medicaid part. So here's the di here's the difference. With Social Security Disability, you get Medicare. With SSI, you get Medicaid. If you are receiving a disability check of less than $1,500, it's possible to receive both, which is significantly beneficial because you have access to more benefits. Um, we've covered that in a bunch of other videos. So. Maybe you're approved and you fall into that less than 1500 and you haven't pursued it. You probably should pursue it. We can help you evaluate the differences here. So those, that's the difference. Just to, just to recap, it's SSIs for those who have not worked generally 50% or more of the last 10 years. Stay-at-home moms, unfortunately, put themselves in a situation where they're vulnerable to this um, and something happens. And then, so that's that's the SSI piece. Uh, SSDI is for those that have worked 50% or more of the last 10 years. They get their disability check and they get Medicare. So that is a difference. Now, one last tip for everybody is use the right lingo when you are communicating. Understand that if you're on SSI, you're on SSI. If you're on SSDI, then you're on uh, Social Security Disability. You can look at your bank statement if you're already receiving it and it will tell you the difference in what you're receiving. Then when you're speaking to Social Security or us about resources and questions, then we, uh, it helps us, you know, have the right information to answer properly. I hope you have found this helpful. We encourage you to subscribe, 
join some of our live events that we have that are typically once a week on Wednesday. Um, and of course, if you'd like more information to help you get a customized approach to your disability needs, join us as a member. It's no cost to be a link around this video um, and stay tuned for more. Make it a great day.